Right, welcome to Tuesday afternoons. So I'm just going to run through what we're going to do. We're starting off again with our handwriting. So we've got that word any, A N Y. Then we've got many, M A N Y. Then we've got the word beautiful. So we've got B E A U T I F U L. And then we have got the word clothes. And making sure that we form all those letters carefully. Now today we're going to count, oh we've got our comprehension verse for our In the Wild Woods, our book by Simon James. So we've got that story and today our comprehension it says, what would you like to know about the squirrel? So what I'd like you to do today is you are going to be writing some questions. So if you were to meet Jess, what might you ask her about the squirrel? So you're thinking about some questions. They will have a question mark at the end and you might be using word like what what does the squirrel like to eat where did the squirrel sleep why did you want a squirrel okay have a think about some of those question words and write me some questions all about the squirrel um, and as imagine that you are asking those to Jess so we're carrying on with our art today. Today you're going to be doing a design and then having a go at making. I will put on the website the link for the Gaudi video so that you can have a look to remind yourself about the Gaudi things. Um, and there also will be the PowerPoint on there so you can have a look through again at that information about Gaudi. Now today what I want you to do is design a Gaudi style building. Now remember the most important things about Gaudi's work he used lots of colour and he also didn't use many straight lines. He sort of had lots of bendy lines. So what you're going to do is you're going to design a building and you've got to think about this Gaudi type style. So you might want to do sort of some a tower where you've got some bendy, maybe you've got some bendy walls on it because we're not going to be making it 3D, we're making something flat. So have a think about how you want your building to look. I'm just trying to think how I could do the building in the middle. I might do another wavy line. And then, oh, I think my roof, I might sort of give it a double roof there, it's a bit strange. So have a go at designing your building. Do think about the colors because you will be painting these later on. And what you need to do is try to keep them simple. If you put too much detail on them, when you come to make them, you will find it a little bit tricky. So do your design. And then today we are also going to have a go at making our tile. So what you'll need to do, if you've got clay or Play-Doh, or if you're making salt dough, you need to roll it out. Now you might want your tile to be a square or an oblong shape, you could make it a round tile, it's completely up to you, but you'll need to roll it out so you've got a flat surface to work on, and then use some tools to make, to scrape the image into the top of the material you're working in. And what you can also do, especially if you're using salt dough, it's a lot easier for you, you might be able to stick things on. It's a bit more tricky with clay, with the clay, we're just drawing in. What you might find when you're using your material and if you're using tools, what you might find sometimes when you've drawn a line, you'll find that you get some bits that come up over the side. So if you draw a line in the clay, some of the clay will come over the sides. What you will need to do, just get your finger a little bit wet and run it down the clay just to smooth those bits off or take them off. Otherwise, when they dry, it will look a bit strange. But what you're doing today is making your image, creating that in the top of your clay. So it doesn't matter what shape your tile is, I've done sort of a square, a bit more of an oblong, and then you can draw in, and then you've got to make this image on your clay or your salt dough. Okay, that's your art for today. And then your PE for today, we are going to be using our throwing skills to see if we can do some aiming. You could make a target like this, you could set some targets out, maybe if you've got some hoops, you could set them out at different distances, or you might have hoops of different sizes, maybe you could line some toys up 
and give them a different score depending on if you could hit them. Doesn't matter what you're doing, but we're having a go at doing some aiming today. Take care and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye for now.